why should the public care about the evolution of scientific publishing? What's at stake here for the world? Well, that's a big question. Yeah, um, <laughs> The publication of science is crucial for many different reasons. It helps the public to understand the world that they live in. That's, that's how we know about how the world works. Sharing those insights with the public is and always has been extremely important. What is changing uh, very much is the way in which that sharing takes place. With MedArchive, you had it, things like the dexamethasone trial result showing that it was an effective treatment for severe COVID-19. All these things could go into people very, very quickly because you could read what was happening. That was the first effective treatment and it came out on MedArchive many, many weeks before it appeared um, in, a, in a journal. The outputs of science from research communities that are not American or British or Western European, those outputs are growing all the time, but the inclusion of those communities in the evaluation of outputs generally is far behind um, the influx of, of research from, from those communities. So that's a rebalancing that we are very aware needs to be done. Again, preprints allow this to occur. The idea that people are disenfranchised because they're not doing work that's important enough to be in the journal goes out the window because the preprint server will take pretty much anything. I think the publishing community has coalesced around the idea that um, a large language model should not be an author. There were some examples of that, you know, in the very early days after ChatGPT was released, but the the consensus very early days like a few months ago. yeah exactly no i mean it's it's, it's it's i know it's warp speed i mean that's and that is something that we're deeply conscious of the pace and the possibilities to come